What's happening? Dustin here with Life in a Mustang, and today I'm bringing you another episode of This Tool is Cool. So let's get started. Alright, what I have for you today is for precision precision engine building that's the word I was looking for so what I have here is a Fowler micrometer set they are uh, is accurate up to 0 0.0001 so it's not like the 0 0.005 so it does up to 0 0.1 of a hundred thousandths this is a one inch a two to three inch and a one to two inch it comes with these right here. These are called standards. This is how you check and calibrate your micrometer. We'll go over and show you how to use this set. Now, when using this set, say you gotta measure your crank journals for your bearing clearances, oil clearances. As you can see, I'm gearing up for an engine build. And uh, this set was just right, so I bought it. And it does exactly what I need, all the way up to zero point, you know, one, whatever. So let's go over how to use these. All right, when using this set, I'm gonna do the one to two inch. So on this micrometer, the first line is zero and then it's uh once you get up to here that's one hundred thousand two hundred thousand three hundred thousand four hundred thousand the lines in between so if you were here at one and then you were on that second line right there that's one hundred and one hundred and twenty five thousands one hundred and fifty thousands one hundred and seventy five thousands it goes in um 25 increments, so 25, 50, 75, 100. So each line in between, 25, 50, 75, 100, 25, 50, 75, 100. You were to just add those up. So this is our one to two inch micrometer. We're gonna use the two inch standard on this. We're gonna start at one right here is a ratcheting mechanism. Actually, this one's already closer. So this is our two to three inch micrometer. I use this one. And what you do is you use this ratchet right here and when it stops, it's gonna uh, kind of ratchet, put it in there flat and see it's right on. I mean, it needs calibrated a little bit. If I just back it off a hair right there two inch standard completely in calibration uh so right now we are at two inches flip this around so we're at two inches and say if we were to open this up anymore to right there. So now we're at two inches, 25, two inches, 50, two inches, 75. And then a little more, two inches, 100 thousandths. You can see the one there. It needs calibrated a little bit, but it's not very far off. But when you're doing uh, very precise bearing clearances, you definitely want it calibrated right. And then say it falls right there on the 100 thou, or let's say two inches, 100 thousandths and 25. And then you come over here and you find the one that lines up the most and you add that. We'll say the seven, so you add seven more. That's pretty much how to use a micrometer. There's plenty of videos out there. If you're doing any sort of engine building, definitely get a micrometer set definitely use a standard and then it comes with what they call a spanner wrench right here if i can get it out Ugh. uh 
All right, so the spanner wrench, there's little long, little holes right there. You'd put the spanner wrench in and you'd tweak this until the zero lines up when you have your standard in between these two. So yeah, it's a great tool. Definitely, definitely a cool tool to use. Definitely a must have if you're doing any sort of engine building and you definitely want it to be up to the one. You don't want the 0 0.005. So Fowler is a pretty well made, uh, Fowler is a pretty well uh, known name. I mean, there's uh, the Mishimoto, not Miyamoto or however you say it out there. There's Snap-on. I almost bought a Snap-on kit, but um, this one is Price is Right and they're very, they're, they're, if you look at them, they're exact same micrometer with a different name printed on them. So it was a really nice case. There you go, Fowler Tools. Uh, it's Chicago, Toronto. Uh, so it's an American, it's an American standard. You can get them in millimeter, all other different types. So, so there you have it. There is another cool tool to use in or around your shop or on your car. I'm going to be using this one on my car, checking my crank journals to get my bearing clearances for my rods and my mains. Along with that, you're gonna need a bore gauge. Uh, a micrometer stand would make life a whole lot easier. That way you could adjust your bore gauge in the process. I wanna thank you for watching. I put up two videos a, a week. One is this tool is cool, some sort of tool you can use in or around your shop or on your car. The other is some sort of vlog or how-to with cars.